I'm glad to see you today. Thank you for visiting our demonstration gardens at Eco Agric Uganda demonstration site. Here with me is an old car tire that we have used as an nursery bed. We are raising vegetable seedlings and later we shall be transplanting them to the main garden. We came up with this idea to prevent the chicken and pigs that would destroy our on ground nursery beds. This being a town, people have chicken and pigs and we have been facing a challenge of these pigs and chicken that would destroy our on ground nursery beds for over the last two seasons. As the solution, we opted for this method. As you can see, the tire is seated on pieces of timber that have been supported off the ground by a piece of wood. Beneath the tire is a sack laid to prevent soil from spilling. The tire is then filled up with black soil that has been collected from under the tree. There is an eggplant that has germinated already in the center of the bed. The tomatoes that were broadcasted all over the bed have also germinated. We have then put a shade to prevent the effect of direct sunshine onto our seedlings. The bed is then watered through the shade. My name is Sandra Akugiziwe. I work with Eco Agric as a manager for demo gardens from which different people come to learn micro gardening. Beside the old tire method of nursery bed that we showed you before, we have another nursery bed called greenhouse where we raise our seedlings before transplanting them to the main garden. Here, we have pots made out of papers. The papers are folded, filled up with the soil, hence becoming our pots. We have also used dry banana fibers that we have folded into pot shape and filled it with the soil. We have also used the shaped bamboo. This bamboo is cut from the forest, crafted into pot shape that can hold the soil and then used for the same purpose. As a culture at Ecoagric Uganda, we emphasize the use of locally available materials that are easy and cheap to get. We try to ensure that a farmer benefits highly without much added costs. The folded banana fibers, papers and leaves cost nothing as compared to the commonly used black polythene pots which are bought with money. The usual polythene pots being non-biodegradable, they cause environmental pollution. But our folded banana fibers, papers and leaves later decompose, causing no threat or harm to our environment. After raising our seedlings very well, we then have to transplant them to the main garden. As you know, because of population increase and climate change, the land available for cultivation has reduced and so we have to start thinking otherwise. Don't hesitate to garden because of having no space. Just take a lesson from what we have showed you. As you can see, we have boxes made out of abandoned timber pieces. The boxes were filled up with black soil that has been collected under the mango tree. The seedlings from our previous nursery beds were then transplanted to these boxes. The boxes are mulched to prevent moisture and water loss from the soil. While transplanting, we mix up different crops, what we refer to as intercropping, to prevent disease spread. This helps to save money that would have been spent on buying insecticides and pesticides. As you can see from different boxes, we have eggplants, skumawiki, tomatoes, lettuce, and others. This is my kitchen, and these are the vegetables I have grown around my kitchen garden. This is eggplant, that is green pepper, here I have broccoli, and this is eggplant. Now, this, the, only this space can provide me food and income. I sell, and at the same time, I eat. So this one is called black nightshade, commonly known as nakati. You can see how it is planted here. So this one is majorly for food, and these eggplants, are majorly for food and income. Now, 
the women. Only this part can help you get money. I always sell and at least every day I get 2,000 shillings from the eggplants. And also I have to make sure that my people at home get something to eat from this garden. Now you can see my vegetables are not so much stressed because of the sunshine. I always use the water I get from my kitchen to water my vegetables. When I wash the potatoes, when I wash the food, I don't pour away the water. I pour it here. I'm just in love with it.